coddling moths and oblique banded leaf rollers cost tree fruit growers millions of dollars each year. Because larvae cause the actual damage, not much effort has been put into studying the behavior of adult moths. So Tia Smith, when working on her master's degree in entomology at Washington State University, used insect flight mills to answer the perplexing question, how far can these moths fly? When it comes to flight distance, when you have orchards close to each other and say two orchardists, two different orchardists that are close to each other, you can have infestation in one orchard. Well, if we know how far they can fly, we know that they might be able to get into the other orchards and affect the population dynamics in the new orchard that they disperse to. On average, these moths fly about five kilometers. We've had some that can fly up to 36 kilometers. So these fly mills are very important because they can look at the physiological capabilities of these insects. They can look at behavioral aspects of these insects. Um, for insects that we don't know as to when they fly, we can use these to determine when they fly, their peak flying time. And yes, it's in the laboratory, but it can always be applied to the field. You take it, you learn what you can here, and then you go out to the field, and hopefully you don't have to do as much work out in the field because you've already got a grasp on a good amount of what's going on. 